in the labyrinth of Tarkov's crumbling streets, where every shadow hides a threat and every sound echoes with danger, a new soul finds itself entwined in the city's cruel grip. His name is Jack Mercer, a seasoned USAC operator whose fate has led him to the heart of the chaos, Ground Zero. Jack had come to Tarkov like so many others, chasing the promise of riches and adventure amidst the ruins of a war-torn city. But what awaited him was far from the dreams of wealth and glory. Instead, he found himself trapped within the confines of the city, cut off from the outside world by the merciless borders enforced by both warring factions and the unforgiving terrain. His journey had begun like any other, a routine deployment into the heart of Tarkov's urban sprawl. But when his squad was ambushed by a combination of scavengers and rival PMCs, Jack found himself separated from his squad and his gear lost in the chaos of battle. He feared that he was the only man left standing. Alone and disoriented, he navigated through the maze of alleys and abandoned buildings, seeking refuge and a means of escape. And this is where our story begins. Amidst the ruins of a city consumed by violence and despair, Jack Mercer will embark on a journey unlike any other. A journey of survival, of redemption, and ultimately, of escape. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Gamer Visuals channel, my friends. It is time. It is time for Season 3, and here we are with our brand new created character from my mind, Jack Mercer. Yeah, I did a little bit of a clothing switch, a little bit of that, got him a different head, so I actually created a full-on USEC character um, based on the story that you guys heard in that intro. And uh, we're going to take this man and we are going to hopefully, hopefully see if he can survive Tarkov. So level one character, haven't done anything. Let's hop in. As usual, we got nothing. Alpha case is here. Our, our knife is here, but I, I'm not, I'm not using it yet. We're going to start just like last time with absolutely nothing. Um, We'll go ahead and do the exact same thing as last season. If we can f survive our first raid and actually get out into the um, into the hideout, we'll go ahead and grab our alpha case. So basically, let me lay out the little bit of RP we're going to follow right now because based on the intro, here's where Jack is now. He is stranded in ground the Ground Zero map. He is separated from his his team, and he now has to somehow survive get gear and get out of the and extract from that map and when he does that that is when he will discover our hideout so right now we're not even going to go to the hideout because it doesn't exist at the moment we got to find it first our first extract gets us to the hideout and in the hideout we'll be waiting our alpha case and a knife for some reason those are just left there and we and we magically find them <laughs> we'll just we'll rp it that way but anyway we do have these quests. We might as well. Ta you know what? I don't even know if I should take the quest yet until like with for RP. I don't really. You know what? I'll take them. And I don't know if we'll be able to even we'll be even be able to do any because we basically got to just spawn and try to survive is the first first thing we got to do. Maybe maybe we'll find some medicine items and, and do this. I don't know. But either way, guys, we are pretty much not going to leave ground zero until we complete all the ground zero quests or if we need to to move over to another map for any kind of reason maybe we will but for right now we're gonna be playing a lot of ground zero because it's the brand new map and i know a lot of you guys want to see it so um let's see uh he gave us five grand i'm going to take that because it's part of the quest but we're going to leave it in the hideout and we don't get it until we get to the hideout so the whole car heart car extract we got to find the money and raid we'll keep that it is a quest it is a quest item Technically, so we'll get the we'll this is what we'll find when we get to the hideout. How about we put the, the rubles in the alpha container? Somebody left us a container with money and a knife. There you go. How about that? All right, so Basically, you guys know the story now. We're ready to go. Let's start Jack versus All right, just cut it right there We'll do that we'll do that part again Alright, so you guys know the story now, you know what we're doing, let's start Jack Mercer's journey. 
All right, guys, so quickly before we get into our adventure with Jack Mercer, I do want to make sure I go through the mods that we're going to be using so far, um, starting in this episode right here. Of course, as usual, this will change over time, but as of now, this is the mod list, and if you guys need to actually take a look at the whole entire list, it will be linked in the description below. So it lists every single thing that I'm using. These are the actual server mods that are loaded while I'm playing my game. So first one, weapons, epic range time. This adds some uh, different weapons to the game. Uh, just a little bit more of a, a variety. So I thought it was cool. Uh, there's some new uh, real life weapons that this guy put in the game. Really, really enjoy it. Uh, some some real life guns that I've actually shot in real life. So wanted to include that in the game. Expanded task task tech. Expanded task text. Sorry. Uh, yeah, this basically gives you different uh, ex or extra details to your tasks, which should honestly be in the real game, in my opinion, um, and let you know if you need to use a certain key for it or if you have to acquire a certain key for it and and different little tips that, you know, I feel like the real game should already have. So I, I added that more check marks. Uh, I've had this since like version one or season one of our of our playthrough. And this is just that little check mark you guys always see on all my items. And it basically when you hover over it, it lets you know if you need this for a certain reason, like for a hideout upgrade or if you need it uh, to collect it for a quest, stuff like that. So it's very useful. Again, I feel like this should be in the real game too. Uh, Warheads, I added that just so I could uh, vary up the look of our character uh, and create the Jack Mercer character. Uh, this basically just made a, uh, a head that had like some, uh, uh, what do you call it, some camo paint on it. <laughs> and that's why you see the camo paint on Jack Mercer's face. Um, item info, this is actually pretty sick. This is, you'll see this, uh, this is different for this season. And this one will basically uh, make, make, it makes all the items have like those weird colors around them. Uh, and basically all that does is it lets me like at a glance know like, hey, I should probably pick that item up or I shouldn't pick that item up or the, it basically adds the 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 rarity of the items, um, kind of like an RPG game, stuff like that, and it uh, gives you a little bit of more info about it, so it's kind of nice. Ammo stats, uh, this is pretty self-explanatory. I got this simply so I could easily see which ammo I should be using because ammo is a huge thing in Tarkov, and if you don't use the right ammo, you could be shooting a bunch of basically you know marshmallows at your enemies. Um, SVM, this is so I could add our actual... Uh, our value loader that I decided to do, or what do you want to call it? Our, our profile through SVM. So I'm using a specific profile uh, that I downloaded that from another mod author uh, that goes through that uses SVM to, to modify the way the game runs and uh, like the spawns and stuff like that. And if you guys want to know what that is, it's listed in the description. Um, so it's the I believe it's the uh, fair fair and playable or something like that it's in the it's in the description guys i can't remember but yeah it's it looked like it was a very good way to play the game uh gave it a few test runs and it it seems really nice so i went ahead and and grabbed that uh no discard limit i believe this comes in another mod so it just it's just part of i think svm or something like that um swag and donuts this is very a very big one uh this one basically lets me adjust the the AI spawns and the, and the way they spawn and, and how much um, and the profile that I'm using here with swag and donuts is the same one that I've been using uh, for last season it's the more uh, is it PMC starting PMC's more scabs something like that and I feel like this one uh, seems the most realistic because you'll see you'll see PMC's at the very beginning uh, some will actually stay throughout the entire uh, throughout the entire raid and then if they don't die and then of course you'll see scabs the entire time which is great um you don't just get like a raid where no, nobody's there uh i'm right now i'm using valence progression because this is uh it's like algorithmic progression but simply it'll just i don't think it includes scabs right now in their loadouts but uh what it'll do is for pmcs it'll make them uh be the same level as me so i won't be fighting like level 60s or something like that they'll be a similar level to me and have similar loadouts to me so i won't be able to find like you know level level 60 gear right off the bat which i think is kind of stupid so um it, just my opinion i just want the, my gameplay to be a certain way so uh, i have that when algorithmic level progression uh um what do you call it updates i will probably be switching that this out for that um and actually i believe the mod author he commented on my uh my trailer and he said he is currently working on it so uh thanks buddy if you're watching this but uh winter mode i, I put this on there simply because we missed the winter wipe really i played it a little bit on the channel like when it first dropped um and uh i wanted to play with winter for a little bit and i think during the playthrough we'll probably move into spring um after a little bit but for the beginning we're gonna play in the winter time um 
pack and strap i got this because it actually adds battle belts to the game which i'll show you guys it's pretty freaking cool you can put them in either your um armband slot or you can put them in your uh your tactical rig slot and it's actually pretty sick a lot of these look really cool and like in real life i use a battle belt when i go to the range and stuff so it's like why would these not be in the game so kind of cool and then of course number one mod honestly it's, it's one of the number one mods in my opinion sane uh completely makes changes the way the ai act they they are more smart they take cover uh they're harder to fight uh it, you can't i can't play spt without this now because it just makes the game a lot more fun but guys that's my mod list uh let's hop into the game all right everybody where did jack mercer end up oh wow they dragged the scavs dragged him over to here you know what Knowing where this place is, I think this is one of the better places that I could have spawned. Wow. Or we could have been been dragged to. Wow. Okay. Kind of lucky, but I'll take it. We already got fighting. Plenty of it. That's a lot of kite. Oh my. Sight will take that, just in case we find a gun. Um, and those of you that have watched my playthroughs in the past... Amon, Amon's sense. I don't believe it is a thing right now. So we actually, yeah, we don't have that mod. So I, it, we're back to, we're back to normal searching of the loot, which I think some of you will like. So our friend Jack here has got to literally search through everything. To try to find himself a weapon right now. That's, this is the main thing. So where am I? You know what? Actually, I know, I know exactly where I'm at right now. Ooh, here we go. A hat. Okay. So if we get a if we find a weapon, we're in we're in business. I'm not gonna search for anything else right now except for like I I need this, actually. Yeah, let's just get rid of that. Take that in case we need food and water. Yeah. And maybe what we'll do is we need to just you know, we need to do a bit of sneaking around. And possibly let uh while we're while we're searching for stuff, possibly let, you know, some people die. Maybe we find a dead scab and that, that could be our come up. Here we go. Did I already search this? Yeah, that's the room that I started in. Okay. So there's some good um, boxes in here simply just for that. So that was good, but uh, that would that gave us a good chance of finding a gun, but of course we didn't find one. Yeah, our uh, the FPS in this map, by the way, guys, is it's hit or miss. It's 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 good sometimes, sometimes it's not. Um, so we're just gonna have to deal with it. Propane. Let's see, is there? I don't. Th there sometimes can be a medical crate right here. Doesn't look like there is. And usually, when there's like a big lag like that, that means there's AI around. So yeah, we gotta. Seems somewhat stable for the most part. It's just yeah, I think this new map is um just a little, a little screwy sometimes. Does this go underground? I think it does, right? to the garage or is this just I can't remember what this does again guys we're playing a new map so oh, this, this does go to the underground but the only thing about the underground is I'm pretty sure there's a ton of scabs down here isn't there I think there's like lots of loot crates but there's like a ton of scabs too usually is this open oh shit yep you already saw me I gotta get out of here A place is a good spot to find a gun, but like, it's not worth finding a gun if we get wrecked by a scab or something. And then, you know, our journey, our journey ends there pretty much. Nice. Stead scav. Okay, BT ammo. Shit. <sighs> oh, there we go. We're in business, baby. We are now in business. Ten rounds in a dream. All right. This is better than last season. I think we found a gun that had like eight in it. And we got ten. It's like, you know, see what I can do with, with eight? Wait till you see what I can do with ten. All right. Now I've got to remember, figure out where I'm at. I'm in that, this building here. Um, I could go to Nakatani and get out that way. Or... See, I'm trying to think of where I could go. 
Um, yeah, where is my... Yeah, Embercom is on the other side of the map. Where's my quest at? I'm looking at a map right now, guys, just so I can see where I, where I should go. Um, Capital Insight. Yeah. Okay. Where's that park? Where's that? I got to find that parking garage. Is that, am I around that? Or is it on the other side of the map? There very well could be like scabs and shit all over here and they're probably going to start shooting at me. I'm just trying to get some eyes on the, on the map here. Oh, there's a guy right there. See that? They straight up got frick. They got, look at that. How could he see me? They got they got freaking aimbot, man. <laughs> I gotta get a mod that disables that, cause that's that's kind of stupid. There's no way he even saw me right there. Like he just like the AI just happened to know I was there because I was looking at him. That's okay though. It's alright. We really do need to kill a scav though and take their crap. Uh, maybe we take the lupo beans. I actually didn't sell these. So they're worth money. Okay. Either way, this will all help with our life and everything. And what we do is just get Mr. Mr. Jack Mercer here to quickly survive one so we can use our stash and all that. Don't we need that water? Yeah, I just need I need a rig. Or something to hold stuff. <clears throat> I got nothing at the moment. God, we loot so slow. I'm back to we're back to this again. We're back to looting slow. And I also have changed a few key binds and all that kind of stuff, guys. So if I if you see me struggling with my key binds just a tad, don't be surprised. That jacket you can't loot. Okay. Um Let's see, I did hear, I know I heard a guy, I know I heard a guy in the basement down there. A lot of times there's scabs like right here. There's, there's stuff to loot in this little building right here next to me too. Actually, there's usually some pretty good loot in there, so let's just run over here. There's also an AGS up here, I'm pretty sure, so I can actually get this quest. Thing. Or it's in this is it, it's in this building over here. Yeah, it is. It's behind me. It's like in that window right there. So actually, probably, I can go in there and get that part of that quest done. Okay. And honestly, guys, I'm just looking because like... Yeah. <laughs> I'm not very... I'm like not extremely familiar with this map because obviously I haven't played it a lot. So you guys are going to see me struggle a little bit. Which I'm, I think you guys enjoy. If I know my audience, you guys love me to struggle. And if there's not enough struggle, you guys are like, hmm, why aren't you struggling enough? No, we're not wearing that. <clears throat> I hate those things. You can't hear shit with those on. Okay, we're going in this building here. Yeah, we're going up in here. Is this the terror group building? No, it's not. No, I think... No, the terror grid building is that big, the really big one. This, I just need to go upstairs, I'm pretty sure. Is there no loot down here? No. I need to go upstairs and find this AGS, and that'll be something. It's part of that quest, you just gotta like look at it, I'm pretty sure. Um... Yeah, as far as like other mods and stuff, I don't, I don't believe I have... Oh. Oh, it's a car manual. Never mind. Thought it was that other man, that tech manual that I like never can find. Ooh, those can come in handy. We're getting rid of this. I don't think I can. Can I put? Wait, can I go on the shrimp? Nope. Dang. Yeah, those can come in handy. Uh, four. If we get shot in the leg and we got to run away. You never know. Take some anal gins and we'll be okay. I hear somebody. Yeah. What do we got for extracts? Okay. I'm pretty sure with my... So that... By the way. That preset... Oh, shit. 
There's a guy up here. That preset that I'm running, it's called Fair and Balanced. So I believe it opens all the extracts. I think that's a, yeah, that's a scav. Should just hold this angle here. Does he know I'm looking at him or something? Probably. I don't want to rush him because, like, I can't. Where'd he go? Got him. I think that was just a scab, right? Yeah, it was. Oh, shit. No! I was about to say I was about to whiff that. No. Whoo! Oh, man, I was about to whiff that. That was, that was gonna be bad. What? No space beside him. Oh, there we go. Sweet. All right, boys. <clears throat> no, we're really in business. Okay. Perfect. So I think I got the basement, Nakatani basement stairs, don't I? I think the GP7 is worth more. Oh, I can't put that on. Um, a PM pistol, we'll keep that. Is extra, I think. Oh, an MBSS, nice. Yeah, so here is what we'll do. This here, that there, put that there. Yeah, that was my last bullet too, by the way, guys. <laughs> Scabs are up here looting the whole thing for me. Can't put the tea bag in there too, so I'm gonna have to just take the MBSS. Okay, what do I not need? Probably should have ate the croutons. It's okay, I'll eat the croutons and then I'll. Come on. Oh, wow. Cool. Jeez, nice. Uh, I'll get rid of the shrimp because no ammo for it. Is that all I got had was a pistol? Oh, that's good. It's good for me. Okay. Whew. There was a couple of the, uh, you know, the locals as we call them, and they were, uh, yeah, they're not, they're not very nice sometimes. Get that there. We'll put this on number four now. Be great if I could find some uh, some healing of some kind. Aren't okay. So DVD drives, those can be day day. You can get a day pack with that. Okay, we need we need the DVD drives and get backpacks with that. So barters would be a big thing for us too. And this gets us gas analyzers. Yeah, we're gonna need this. Cool. Yeah, I like the item color thing. It like kind of it's kind of dope to know like which items are um are useful or not. So <clears throat> All right, our buddy Jack is he's feeling this sense of urgency right now where I probably need to get out of here. He realizes that this is a uh, this this whole this whole run could be brought down here in in just a second if I don't get out of here quick. Um, let's see. PSU sell for quite a bit. Um, we're gonna need like all this stuff. Don't need those right now, do I? I need that. Okay. Should say we we need that. So many computers in this building. This is this is a this is a room I think will loot quite a bit, most likely, as we come back to this map. I know it sounds crazy, but our uh, our buddy Jack is a little bit crazy, and he and he will come back to this map. That's that's just the way Tarkov is. 
Do we hop on the AGS and just cause havoc? Could probably get a kill or two with it. Remember, our buddy Jack is a seasoned USEC operator. He's done this before. <laughs> Got him. Uh, I don't know what that those artifacting things are, but that's that's annoying. But hopefully, there's bad guys over there. Hopefully, I'm gonna kill him. Yeah, you see those weird artifacts over there? The view distances, that's that's weird. What what is that? It's like a wall of white. Got to fix that. I don't know what that is. All right. Well, everybody better be dead over there. I wouldn't say we're revealing our position or anything. We're more just, you know, clearing the way, I guess. Now, I really did want to add and of course, somebody lived. Yeah, what are those artifacts, dude? Look at this. That's weird. That's so weird. I gotta, I gotta solve that problem. I don't know what that is. But anyway. So I was trying to get a mod in here. Don't I need... Oh, is that a pack of cigarettes? Yeah. Um, I was trying to get this mod that uh, allows you to drink things off the ground. Which I probably should do that. I should get that one. Um... Just simply so I can do that, do this without having to toss something away. <clears throat> okay, so we're down here. Um, we don't have money for the car, uh, the car extract. So, yeah, what we want to do is probably. I got everything from this guy, right? Yeah, I did. And all we got is a freak. Of course, we got the freaking double barrel shotgun. It had to be that. It had to be this gun. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, there's more in here. That's right. There's always more. This is like the non-lootable computer, which actually looks cooler than all the rest of them. Alright. We're just doing a bit of looting because we can. But I think the, I think the scab's already got it. Okay, so I need to go... Yeah, we're getting some weird pop-in and stuff. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta fix that. I don't know what that is. So that's Nakatani over there, I'm guessing, right? Yeah. I'm in Capital Insight right now. Nakatani basement stairs. They're in the back of this building. So I could try to get that extract. Which, yeah. It's one of the is that do I have that one? I have that, right? No, I don't have that one. Oh, okay. So I can't go there. Never mind. Um, okay, I wasn't trying to put that ammo in. So I need to go to like Mira or something. Never mind. So Nakatani's not gonna be a viable option. <clears throat> we gotta go like across the map. Gotta get to Embercom, which is all the way across the map. Or we get out Mira Ave, which is also kind of across the map. So either way, we're kind of screwed here. Okay, we have to, like, run outside for part of this. So I don't know if I should go this way on this side or the other side. I'm just going to go over here. Because this is the way that I cleared with the AGS. I don't know why it keeps telling me the blackout ammo. That's probably some kind of, probably some kind of glitch. So... Everybody, just relax. All right, we got a kind of a full load right now, so really, I'm just looking for like a different gun other than the shotgun. Would be nice. Where did I kill that scab? He's right there. Okay. Yeah, a lot of times people go into this building though, so I kind of want to clear this out. Found that the AI often goes into here. What did I say? Oh, man. That is unfortunate. Jesus, that scared the living crap out of me. 
Ugh, man. Well, all that means is Jack will now have to restart at a random part of the map, and we go again. That That's unfortunate. I, I did not even see that guy. Dang. Well, let's go. All right, and where do we wake up this time? Okay, similar area. Similar area. Not the worst. Not the worst thing in the world. Let me... All right, so the scabs just dragged me over here. By me, I mean Jack. Quickly loot this. I mean, that was worth it. Got a helmet out of it. Not that that would have helped us in the slightest, even in the last bit. All right, hopefully there's no PMC spawn right here. Okay. We did, we did accomplish a, a, a bit of a task. We found something in the last raid. Or in our last, our last try to escape here. That's nice. Can't keep it though. Don't have any room for it. Um, and we were able to grab a knife, so we did have a knife in our pocket. Gun. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. Okay. Nice. It's the M62 Tracer as well. Oh, I can't put it on there. Dang it, it's gotta have a mount. That's right. Dang it. Alright, well, Jack just got extremely lucky. I do need a sight on this thing, though, because I can't really aim with it. I kind of just can hit fire with it. Beautiful. Isn't that what this takes? Yeah, it is. We can actually find more ammo. Okay, we got ourselves a rig. We actually are kind of kind of not in the worst spot now. I'm taking this. That's good money. We can get out with it. Um Yeah, we kind of this time I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move towards uh I think well I got to check our what do you call it? Got to check our extracts. I think it should be the same extracts, right? Emercom, yeah. Em yep, I got to move towards Emercom and Mira quicker. <clears throat> I think last time the scabs just built up, built up a little too fast, and I just kind of didn't have time to, uh, what do you call it? I definitely, I definitely, I knew there was going to be a, a guy in there. I just, I didn't know he was going to be hiding behind the corner like that. I just, I had a feeling. I didn't even hear him or anything like that, guys. I just, yeah, I just I had a feeling. I had an inkling. Oh, keck tape, nice. All right, but either way, Jack's adventure is going to be going to be quite quite cool. Ooh, do I have to? Do I need to trade for the security? I think this has a little bit more space, right? No, it's not. Actually, it's less. Can this this go on here? No, it's just it is, but it's 760 by 51 can't go on here. No, okay. Whatever. Sometimes the stuff in Tarkov, man. Just, just, it's just weird. I looted everything, right? Yeah, that room there. Well, hey, that was, that was lucrative. I didn't even look at the table. Okay. I'm not gonna check the computers. They're obviously of no use to me right now. Go over here and check this. Okay. Yeah, we gotta just, we gotta move around. I gotta, it would be great is if I could find a damn armor. So I don't just die so freaking fast. I do gotta, okay, there's a bag here this time. It's nice. Do gotta try to move around and be quiet too if I can. Relay. Bolts, which you need for everything. So I'll just take it for money. Okay, I hear somebody. I don't know where they're at, though, but I hear them. Oh, if you guys want to see a... Oh. Somebody out here. Sounds like somebody's, like, right, right out here. Oh, God. Yeah, I can't aim at all with this thing. Yikes. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't know what those little artifacts are, man. I got to I got to figure that out. Let's go up. This is where I found my gun last time, didn't I? <clears throat> yeah, it's just going to be difficult to I think what I might need to do is clear clear the underground part go through there all this stuff I don't really need at the moment do need to eat and drink though yeah see that dude was just sitting right inside there just just waiting for me there's probably scabs right around there too are those are those artifacts or is that actually in the game? Those all that white shit. No, that's those are artifacts. Yeah, this is so hard to aim. I hit him. I need a freaking I need a sight. Or I'm gonna have to legitimately just like hip fire everybody. Yeah, he's shooting at me. I'm not going to do that. It's not worth it. This is the tough part is, is trying to get through this. Literally just killing scabs is going to be tough. Right, I probably got to go through the bottom here. Let's see if we can get, get out of here like doing this. Do I need this? Probably. I don't know how many freaking rounds I even have in this gun. Oh shit. Just let him come to me. Come on. Just come in here, please, so I can hit fire you. Jesus. I need this, don't I? I think it's like right here that I have to aim. I'm right out of ammo. If he comes in here, I might, I might run out of ammo trying to kill him. Uh, I got at least two. I could try to single shot him. But he's got he's got a freaking automatic weapon. I don't want to lean. I don't want to lean out and even try to get him that way. Just not smart. Oh boy. Come on, Scav. I have a bunch of ammo in this. I can actually sort of reload it.
there's somebody else down here. What? Is there like a boss in here? No, my... I mean, I probably hit the ground, right? Yeah, I'll grab that. Is there like a duo in here or something? Damn, man. I need a little bit of, I need some meds. I got hit in the head, I think. How much time we got left? Oh, I got plenty of time. I really don't want to be in this fight right now, but I feel like whoever's in here can open this door and get me at any second. I really don't know this area either, so you could be around any corner. What? No way! How? What? How many shots? It was a duo. Like I said, but... What? I felt like all those bullets went right to him. Hold on. What? Hit count. Man, I... Were all those bouncing off his damn helmet? That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. I cannot believe that. Well, we're having... Mr. Mr. Jack Mercer is having a bit of trouble trying to get out of ground zero, guys. And you know what? He knew this would happen. So, well, let's see where he gets dragged off to next. All right, where have they taken me? Oh, okay, this time we're actually on the other side of the map. Or, yeah, we we're like on the complete other side. Which is actually good for us because I think this is part of a quest, isn't it? Okay. The scavs might be showing mercy. And, uh, well, not really. I, I don't want to say that because they're not. <clears throat> I think we want, we want to build a relationship with the scabs. Right now, they're really not on our side. I'm not our side at all. They're absolutely against us. Yeah, that's good. Got a rig. Man, we had a we had a great run going last time. That was just very unfortunate. But it had to end that way. It was very unfortunate. Uh, no, I'm pretty okay. Pretty sure another guy can spawn very, very close to me. So, if I'm, if I'm looking at the spawns correctly, then somebody can spawn like right down the hall for me. So I gotta be careful here. Yeah. TP I need. Yeah, somebody can literally be right down the hall. Pretty sure. Okay. 
just take this slow. See if we can find some loot here. Of these dead bodies. Things worth like nothing. Honestly, I'm just taking this stuff for money. Please don't be yelling at me. I don't have anything to shoot you with. All I got is this knife. Oh, this is part of a quest, isn't it? Yep. Doesn't he have a key or something? By the way, he the scientist, he looks like a guy from Half-Life. Yeah, he does. That, that is. He looks like... Is that what it's supposed to... It, it's the scientist from Half-Life, right? What's his name? Not Gordon Freeman. That's they. They also have that in the game. That's what the uh, the crowbar is from. But the uh, the main scientist guy. Forget what his name is. But yeah, great freaking game. The games we played before Tarkov. Am I right, guys? Oh shit. I mean, somebody's upstairs. I'm gonna die if I go up there. Gun, please. Shit. Um, but I'm pretty sure the other part of this quest is up here. I gotta go in this room, don't I? Yikes. That, well, that might have been... That player might have started and just gone out of the room, out of the building. That could be what happened, too. Like, my chances of actually getting a freaking Okay. Ammo. Should I actually find a gun? Oh, there's a stock M4. My chances of actually... Is this the scientist room? Right? Isn't it? Isn't this the scientist's office? I feel like it is. No. No, the scientist's office is the locked room. Which one is that? I need to figure out where I'm at. Where am I? Guy side. I'm in. Am I in science's office? I'm in. Yeah, I'm in Terra Group. Okay. Okay. And then where can I extract? Oh, we can get to Mira Ave easily from here. We go right out and go straight down the street. We're there. Go out of here. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm telling you what. I need to get a freaking mod. I think there is a mod for this where they like, they can't just like see you out of no like from nowhere, because that that's un that's unfair. Like, <laughs> that's just not fun. They should not be able to do that. Like, there should be some semblance of, like, surprise for the AI, too. You know what I mean? It shouldn't just be me getting, like, super surprised at, oh my god. There's a freaking... Oh, boy. Being like constantly like, oh my god, dude, there's a there's a guy over there and I can't even look at him or otherwise he'll see me. So, what room is this key open? That's the question. I don't know. Probably, did I run past it? Probably did. Or is it this room? Nope, it's room four. There it is. That's the one. I did run past it. It's right here. I think I just gotta go in here, right? Okay, cool. Let's, let's just do this. Mr. Jack Mercer just has to kind of go in here and say what's up. Drink a drink a nice, smooth Tarcola. Yeah. Something something with the, uh, the view distance artifacting and stuff like that. I got to figure out what's going on here. I don't know what it is. It might be DLSS. Maybe I turn that off. What? Yeah, what is all that? You see all those guys out there? I see them. Um, here, maybe we, maybe we adjust this. Let's go to settings, graphics. Let's just do it. Let's turn it off. Will that fix it? No. Yeah. See though, what what is what are those? It's just like artifacts, like all up in the in the air. I don't know what that is. 
we're still trying to figure everything out you guys all right we got 88 fps without dlss on i don't think dlss is actually even doing anything to be honest with you might even be hurting us right now so moment i'm gonna leave it off because like we're gonna yeah we're in buildings like this and there's no other ai around we're getting like 100 fps sometimes so we're gonna we're gonna keep this <clears throat> Man. What does paper do? Is this a... Is that me? No. Could have sworn I just heard somebody. Oh shit, is somebody coming? I think I hear somebody. Yeah, they're coming up here. Or, oh man, is this going to be another one where I'm going to get cucked by somebody? Not having, not having a single solitary weapon does start to, you know, kind of haunt you a little bit. It starts to suck after a little bit. And you keep getting, you keep dying and then still don't have a weapon. Does start to suck. It also sucks really bad when you can't properly see out the... What are those artifacts, man? I, I wonder if that has to do with the winter mod. I can tell you it wasn't happening with a certain setting that I had. I had this set to this before. Let me do this again. Nope. That is... That does nothing. I don't know what I changed. Next performance. All this is still this pretty much the same. I put high textures and low shadows. I did, I did change that. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what that is. I do gotta figure that out though, because that is very annoying. So I'm gonna have to run out of here and go down the street right there and then try to get out Mira Ave if I can, but it sounds like it's not gonna be a good idea. Because it sounds like there's a lot of shooting and I'm gonna have to run past everybody. For now, let's see if we can just loot up. Oh, that'd be nice to get out. Loot up, grab some stuff, and then, uh, I don't know. See, we'll see what happens. We'll run. And, uh, yeah. Pretty much just got a certain point, just got to make a break for it. And we die, we die. Because <clears throat> there's, it seems like there's going to be scabs out there no matter what. They're not going away. Man, I can't believe I ran into a duo that last time. That was, that's insane. That's just, that's just crazy. That's just nuts. Oh, hello. TP we need, that we need. We don't need the cigarettes yet. Diary will sell for money. I feel like there is somebody in my building. And I feel like I'm gonna die. I'm going to probably get killed trying to get out of here. Yeah, there's somebody like right below me. I know it. All right. We might as well like stop looting and pretty much just try to get out of here because I think that's going to be an issue. I think we're not going to be able to get out of here. That was a bag there for a second. I think we're going to try to go out of here, and then there's going to be a dude down here somewhere. And I don't know if there's another way out. I don't think there is. Unless I go all the way around. Where am I again? Terrorbank? Okay. Oh, there's Emmercom. Do I have Emmercom? I don't. That's right. I can't. I'm not going to have Emmercom because I spawned right next to it. I'm pretty sure there's a scab like right here. Almost certain.
gun. Be absolutely insane if there was a gun right here. I'd be sort of saved, or I at least could fight. No. Pistol. Green flare. <clears throat> There's always going to be a green flare, if I remember right, at the... Uh, I'll take it just in case anyway, though, but I'm pretty sure. So I don't have to pop another one, but I'm pretty sure there already is one down there at Mira. Okay. All right, well, here we go. Here's where we die. Oh, shit, there's a scab right here. He's got, okay, double barrel. For a second, I thought that was a single shotgun. Nice. Four, dude. Shit, now he sees me. I'm dead. I'm dead. Fuck. Come on, man. Fuck me, dude. How? Laying down, literally not making a single sound. Somehow he still sees me. I just don't get that. Okay, now we got a gun, though. I couldn't pick up the... I was trying to pick up the other fucking... What do you call it? Other mag that was on the ground, but I couldn't couldn't grab it. Okay, got like ten shots, I think, right? Where's that dude? He's across somewhere. We gotta kill this guy because he's in our way. See me through. Jesus Christ, man. <sighs> of course, they can see you through fucking everything. Is he shooting me through the goddamn wall? Fucker. Fuck off. Got an armor. Oh my god, dude. Need to work on looting. Fucking oh shit. We took our first victim. Um How big is this? Doesn't fit. Damn. Um, let's see. This is almost out of ammo. No idea how much this has in it. So we'll take all this. Or actually. Take that too. God damn. <laughs> I'm gonna take all this. It's probably it's gotta have a lot of ammo in it. I'll just use the 8R. Okay. This is gonna be huge if I get out with if I'm able to get out with this. And not die here. <laughs> oh shit. Fuck me! Fucking two for flinching, dude. 
Good God, man. They're everywhere. Jesus Christ. Wait, I can't I can't get that heavy bleed off. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Yeah, we're we're gonna be absolutely fucked with this. Uh we gotta move. Like I got no choice here. Do I have nothing to heal in a heavy bleed? Nope, I don't. So we gotta go. Yeah, we're gonna die so fast if I don't if I can't heal this. Um yeah. Heavy bleed med, please. No. Alright, we're fucked. That's it. We gotta go. We gotta hurry up and get the fuck out of here or we're dead. That's just it. I don't know how none of those fucking bullets hit that guy though. Oh my god. I'm so dead right now. Yep. Fuck me, man. Alright. Come on, come on. I should have picked up that fucking other bit, bit of meds that I saw, but... I need to hurry up and get down there. I don't know where this dude is that's shooting at me. Okay, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! Seriously, two fucking heavy bleeds? This game fucking hates me. Dude, get down. Thank God. Come on. Have something. Have something. Please. Please have meds. Please have meds. Please have meds. I'm dying. I'm literally dying. I got that. That can work. That's it. Drinking this. We gotta run. Uh, nothing else will help us right now. Nope. We gotta hurry the, hurry the fuck up and get out of here. Okay. This is it. This is our only chance. Okay. Thank you for the vodka. I'm out of here. Hurry, 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 hurry. If there's a guy down here, I'm gonna be so fucking pissed. There probably is, too. Fucking Tarkov, dude. Come on! Why can I not fucking run? Right, no more meds. That's it. I'm just literally gonna do this. Hopefully I make it. Come on, come on, come on. Flare area, flare area. Let's go. Make it. Come on. Let's do it. Come on. Make it. I'm gonna die. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Oh, fuck. I'm not in there yet. I got no time. As soon as my head blacks out, I'm dead. Come on, man. Come on, come on, come on. Please, 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 please. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it to the hideout. We did it. Oh, my God. We did it. Now, if that's not a fucking nail biter, I don't know what is, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus Christ. Whew. Got that player, thank God. Oh my goodness. Lots of XP there, too. Jesus. Now that, that is peak Tarkov right there. That was fun. <laughs> that was absolutely so much fun. I love every second of that. And I hope you guys do, too. I mean, just look at this. One HP on the head! One! Oh, we were like literally a second from dying there. If I would have taken any more time, I would have died. Two heavy bleeds. You're, that's basically a death sentence at that point. Unreal. Unreal. I can't believe I survived that. That's, that's freaking crazy. That right there is the biggest win in itself of the series, like... It's going to be the biggest, it's going to be the biggest win of the series, like, for a while. That, that feels so good. Oh, man. Nice. All right, what has Jack Mercer found? We found some loot, we found some guns, which is unreal. And we also have discovered our hideout, so let's check it out. We have now escaped Ground Zero, and we have 
all of a sudden found this hideout outside of it that we can now make our own. All right. Awesome. We are now there. Uh, did I not find the measuring tape? I thought I... Oh, it's in my... Is it in my inventory? Let me... Uh, yeah. Anyway. Jack now has this little this little hideout that we can now call home and uh, we can we can escape to if we need to. Um, but here, let me go ahead and go back and put all our loot in the hideout now. And um, yeah, wow. I cannot believe we actually survived that. That was insane. The fact that we got out with two guns too, that is big. That is absolutely huge. We'll keep those on for style points. Um, wh what is going on with the TT? <laughs> I don't know, but we got, hey, we got a cheap pistol to take in with us now. Um, guys, let's see, hideout. What do we got here? Security. We now have the measuring tape, which is great. We just need some money to be able to get it. Um, which we should be able to have. Now that we have found this hideout, we have now unlocked these, these, these relationships with a few traders. Let's meet a few people. We have met this man named Proper, a lady named Therapist, who, uh, seems like she's super nice, but, uh, come to find out. If you guys know any Tarkov lore, she's not the nicest. She's actually kind of weird. Uh, Fence, this guy has a bunch of random stuff which we might actually utilize fence quite a lot in this playthrough um if especially if we're, we're not doing too hot um skier got this guy and peacekeeper which is one of the ones you know we want to do a lot of stuff for him right off the bat and here you go here's an example of one of the battle belts you guys pretty freaking sweet huh so yeah and it will it'll add a few extra slots and you can put it in your armband slot which is actually pretty cool. So, um, for for zero to hero runs, you could probably just run a battle belt and have a little bit of extra space to, to collect stuff. And, I, and it also it adds um, these extra bags that mod does um, for tools, and you can use this specifically. I believe it only holds like tool items, and there's another one that holds only medical items too, which is very cool. Uh, just simply for like for looting um, stuff for the hideout, which is really really dope. Because in real life, I mean, come on. That's the kind of thing you'd find. And here's a utility belt right here that also has extra um, extra slots. <clears throat> here's Ragman. Um, then they did bring the fanny pack back. So th that's, this does exist. And that's a, uh, it's a six slaughter. So, yeah. Um, but yeah. So now that we have our hideout, we now have uh, I've discovered our alpha container right there. Now, does this do more damage than the stock knife? 25-27. 24-31. For stabbing, this does more. So we'll keep the ERB net to actually, this is actually a good um, barter trade and we'll put that on. All right, you guys. Wow, I am just I am just so overjoyed. We'll obviously keep this on. It's our only, it's only, our only armor we got. Um, I'm just so overjoyed that we were able to survive that. Um, now, we do need to like, like this. I might just sell this because I don't really want to use that. So let's start with some selling to some of these traders and making some money here. Um, I don't think I have anything else for Ragman, no. Um, what else can I sell and get rid of to make some quick cash? Probably like, yeah, some of this. Oh yeah, the the S Diary. You can get rid of that. What's that trade for? Condor Glasses Intelligence Folder. No, we don't need that right now. This will actually make us some good money really quick. Fence, there we go. See, Fence is a good man at the beginning of the game. There we go, we'll sell him that. I got Dorm Room 206 key, do I need that? Um, yes, that is actually a quest key. My god, we actually started finding quest keys, like, right away. Oh, we, yep, this is for the lavatory. We, that's great, we got out with that, too. Um, and that is for heating level one. Yep, we need, do need that. Gym level one, stash level two. Right now, we don't need those. So we can probably find more of those. This, I don't need either. Don't need a broken LCD. Don't need this. Um... Rest space level one, we'll keep that. All stuff that, is this workbench level one? Yes it is, we need to keep these. Workbench level one, we need to keep these. Cricket, yes, that is for also for illumination level one. We just need money, which I think we can 
possibly at 73k some of these will start to be able to do here in a second we don't need this yet don't need that yet this we can just put on a gun i guess some grenades some some shotgun ammo we just got some random stuff like i yeah i don't know man so the, we got these two guys this is a crazy looking level one trader gun i love it dude i think it's funny that they they'll do this stuff i i don't know okay so i don't know if that mod is fully working because i don't know where this guy got this gigantic freaking mag from that's <laughs> that's just ridiculous it's 100 rounds in one single mag i might just i'm at for the memes i might use this Throughout, the, throughout, I might start using just this one and bring just that one mag in. Oh man! But either way, we gotta, we need to eat. So, um, we need food and water. But our guy, our guy will gain it all back. And uh, and the reason I'm not gonna eat yet is because, guys, I'm just gonna end this first episode right there because that is a perfect place to conclude it. Um, with our, we finally got a win. Uh, we are now able to continue the journey. And we have our hideout and everything. Let me go back out of here so we don't have that weird stuff in the background. But um, where am I at with the quest? I think I've already done a little bit of shooting cans. So all I've got to do is locate the other machine gun. So that's what we'll be looking for in the next the next episode. Um, which I believe I know where that is. That's um, it's just in another building. I think that I just hadn't gone by yet. Um, I think that was one of those buildings that was covered with, you know, riddled with scabs. So I got to go in there. Um therapist i just have not gone over to that area yet um of mira or not sorry not mira but emercom um i'm actually glad i went mira because that i if i went to emercom i probably would have died um that was kind of the uh the choice i was trying to make there in my head um and this one right i got to use the paid vehicle extract so that la i didn't have the money the last time so now that i'm able to have the money and i'll put it in my secure case um i'll, I'll bring that with me and we'll, we'll go out that we'll go out that extract when we have the opportunity to do that and then this one um, locate and obtain the scientist's hard drive. Oh man, did I? Was there an item in there that I didn't grab? I th oh, it was on his desk. Dang it! Yeah, you guys are probably you guys were probably yelling at me for that. Dang it! You mean we could have like actually completed a quest too? Dang it! Well, you know what? It's all good. We're new to this map. We are new to all these quests, so it's okay. Everybody, cut cut me and cut Mr. Jack Mercer some slack. Either way, our man is now not looking like a stock PMC anymore. He's looking pretty sweet, I think. So, guys, that's going to be it for our first episode of this series of season or of season three. I'm super excited. I hope all of you guys are, too. I can't wait to get back in the game and continue this journey with our uh, with our buddy Jack Mercer here and see where he goes in the world of Tarkov. So. If you guys really enjoyed this one, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. And if you want to support this channel in the best way possible, make sure you guys subscribe with those notifications on so that you never miss the uploads of this season, which I will be I will be recording these very, 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 very soon and, and making a ton of them. So that way we have a backlog of videos. So you guys are never without a video every week. So, yeah, be on the lookout for those guys. Again, I hope you guys are very excited because, man. That episode was so fun to play, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Anyway, I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.